Hi my gardening angels and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, I am Jess and today we are going to be talking about string of turtles. So this is my string of turtles plant. You can tell that it is a little unruly, very full, um, and it needs a little bit of a haircut. I really like this pot that I have it in. Um, I got this at Walmart. So um, I think it was like $10, but I'm really liking this black pot. Um, but obviously string of turtles is a trailing plant, but I kind of want it to stay on a shelf and not have to um, hang. So I'm going to give her a little bit of a haircut today and propagate. So, and also another really good thing to be looking for is your turtles. If they're not getting enough sunlight, the tops of them will start getting really foggy. And so the pattern won't be as prominent. So if I can kind of, let's see if I can't show you here. You can see on, well, hopefully you can see on some of them that the turtle top is a little bit foggier versus some that are a little bit more patterned. Um, especially up here, you can see that they're a little bit foggy. So we're going to clear it up a little bit and give them a little bit more space and room to grow and work with. Um, I have not recently watered this, but the soil is a little bit damp still. So we're going to, um, you just want to make sure that your turtles have been somewhat recently watered so that they're nice and healthy. To check to see if they need watering, you just can kind of pinch one of the turtles and if it bends and kind of wiggles a little bit, then you know that they're thirsty and you can water them. Otherwise, you want to wait for their soil to completely dry out. Anyhow, we will be trimming this one up. And I did want to show you that, so I've propagated this once before, and these are the propagations from them. So they're a little bit crazy, but they're starting to fill in now. Um, and they have quite a bit of new growth on them. All of this, everything that's over the edge of this pot is new growth because I just circled them up on the top here. So uh, they're definitely very happy and rooted into these little containers, but I just wanted to kind of show you guys these propagations. So this is the method that I really like using. If you have other methods, let me know down in the comment section below um, so that other people can kind of see what you guys all do. Also, I did move offices. I'm currently in the process of switching, so that is why there's a different background behind me today. But this is what I'm going to start out with. So this is just a uh, watering catching tray that you would like put underneath of a pot or something that has a drainage hole. And this is what I'm going to be using today as my propagation tray. And then what I like to have, and I'll show you the setup because it's in a different room, but I like to have one of those humidity domes, um, like for starting seeds. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to put this with all of my string of turtles and soil and whatever situated into that humidity dome underneath a grow light or just a bright sunny window would also work. Um, and we're going to let it kind of grow in there and just kind of leave it for a while, um, giving it a little bit of water if it starts to dry out, but otherwise, that string of turtles doesn't necessarily need that humidity, um, but I found that for propagating, it really encourages the root growth, and then you can move it out of the humidity dome um, once it has a good amount of roots on it. So I'm just going to go fill this up with some houseplant soil. I'm going to get it a little bit wet just so that um, there is some moisture, but you don't want it soaking. Um, but I'll include a link down below to the next gardener houseplant mix that I like to use if you guys are interested in any of that. So now I have a little bit of soil. There's literally maybe half an inch of soil in here. So don't feel like you need a lot of soil. The roots are only going to grow very shallowy or <laughs> very shallow at first. And so usually by the time that they would need more soil, I usually transplant it into something a little bit bigger. Um, but this is just to kind of get those roots initially established. Um, if you want to put them in something like this, so you can just leave them be and you don't have to transplant, that's also a really smart idea. Um, I just find that I can fit a lot more in here and then transplant them later, but you just have to be really careful with it. So leave that be and it is wet if you can't tell. I did add a little bit of pumice, completely optional. I just have it and so I kind of just throw it in everywhere, but you can add that if you would like. So then you don't really have to have a rhyme or a reason to this. Um, 
but I would just say try to have at least a handful of turtles on each strand. I feel like the ones that had a longer strand that I put in the soil did better and look a lot better than the ones where they were just a turtle or two, <laughs> if that makes sense. And so I do like to kind of have them be in the long strands. I just feel like it starts the plant off a little bit better since they're already all connected. Um, however, one thing that is really neat about these guys, and I can just rip one off. Um, so here's like a turtle, right? And it has this little tiny stem here. If you just stick that in the soil, it should also grow roots and start its own growing. Um, so any turtles that you have that break off in this process, throw them in because they might as well try to grow. Um, but if you do a cutting, it's probably going to be a lot more successful. So we're going to try to take some of these guys, untangle them a little bit, especially any of the ones that are kind of growing on top. Ooh, also, if you don't already know this about string of turtles, they have a really interesting flower because they are part of the Peperomia flower family. So this is a flower here. Let me just cut it off. I usually cut off the flowers of my string of turtles, um, but that's the flower. It's really kind of hard to see, but it's just a stick up in the air. So if you see a lot of these, you can just pinch them off. Um, it probably will help your plant make more leaves if you pinch off the flowers instead of leaving them. But otherwise, you can also just leave them. So I keep running over the strands. I'm going to try to take a few off the top here, give, give this kind of a little bit of a haircut, um, gently give it a tug and just kind of see where we land. Because again, this is going to be where them being foggy plays in. I think there's two here. They're a little bit tangled together but there we go. And then I'll probably cut this guy into another piece, but we'll just leave them there for now. The other thing that I like to do is I like to look for pieces that might have bare segments, kind of like this one, and propagate those ones because um, I like this one looking a lot more full. So I like doing that. But let me flip you around so you can kind of see what I'm doing here. This one. I already had pulled up. I just wanted to show you guys. And then this one as well. And I'm just going to cut it down there. There we go. Okay, so I have a lot, but as you can see, we did get this trimmed up. And I think that, I mean, it looks a little bit better um, there's still a few long pieces and there's still quite a few on top, but I'm going to need to get another tray if I'm going to cut more. So we'll just let that one be. And then what I'm going to just do here is try to kind of untangle these. But like what I'm going to do with this one is it has a big sparse section. So we're just going to kind of cut that there and cut these into little chunks. So then this little guy here, I'm just going to lay on the soil and just kind of gently tap. The roots are going to come out of the connections of where the leaves and the stem meet. And so um, you wanna make sure that those get down into the soil. For something like this, this one obviously stretched and this was kind of the end. I'm gonna just snap it here I'm not gonna bother trying to propagate that one, but I'll put this little stem piece in the tray. Okay, so this is my tray all full. There's not very many spots left, but you know, you could take something like this little guy and stick him in there. But otherwise I do have a few of these left, but I would like to try to keep um, these longer strands a little bit and I don't really have a whole lot left in here. So I think I'm just going to call it good with these, um, but this you can kind of see what I was talking about. These ones are looking good, but these ones are a little bit more foggy. The pattern's not as prominent. But otherwise, we're going to go pop these in the humidity dome and I'll show you what that looks like. So this is the setup. I have a grow light right here. We have the string of turtles tray. You can peek, I have some variegated string of hearts also propagating using this method. 
um, and some alocasias that like to be in this humidity dome from the corms. Um, I do have a video on how to propagate from corms if you are interested. Again, I'll link it up here on the top in the card, but also down in the description box. But then I'm just going to take this guy. it in the humidity dome just kind of like I would be starting seeds and then I'll leave that so that is really it you're just going to leave it in there water occasionally um, when the soil gets dry check on them for roots um, I think mine took maybe a couple of weeks to root but within a month I think they had quite a few roots on them so I feel like this is a fairly fast way to propagate them and again like this guy's ready to go and be planted up and already has a ton more growth on it and this one I did not keep in as long of chunks. Um, I definitely cut it up a little bit more. Um, so this one's doing really well too. But if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Otherwise, I will include those links to the videos that I mentioned and the products that I used. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. It really supports my channel. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.